Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, I'm Aziza and I'm starting my YouTube channel like I'm an upcoming YouTuber so bear with me guys I'm gonna try and keep like uploading content for you guys because I know like consistency is key with this stuff so yeah comment down below some ideas that you guys want me to see I know on my last video you guys commented a ton of um ideas but comment them again if you want to see them because I know I'm just taking ideas from every single like from comments this one was most recommended because I did mention that I was going to do it in my last video so guys welcome back if you're a like if you're a subscriber and you guys came back to watch the video welcome back everybody um yeah let's get into it because i know like don't nobody want to hear me go into the intro too much because this is already a talking video like this is already me just talking the whole time so i'm not i'm not gonna keep you know doing the most but so you guys actually gave me a lot of like video suggestions so uh, not video suggestions what am i talking about y'all gave me a lot a lot of um things to talk about so i'm just gonna start with the first one i see the first one was moving on moving on is just kind of something that you already have to like in your mind know that you're trying to do like and once you know like hey i really need to hop up off this boy girl all it takes is the mindset you got to just continuously like be like okay yeah i gotta get off him like and it takes nothing to get off a dude like these dudes these days don't be doing nothing to keep nobody so it's like what exactly is he doing to the point where you like cannot move on me i'm the type to just go back until i don't like them anymore because it's like i have no shame in my game if i like you i like you and if i don't want to move on i don't have to i feel like social media makes it to where it's like oh if he's not doing this get up off him da -da -da -da. but sometimes it's like you just like them like you just really do genuinely like them or you may love them even but it's like don't let social media influence you on like how you should go about moving on just do you like work at your own pace work at your own pace definitely because i know me like moving on for me is always like a mental thing because i'm mentally detached from somebody before i actually move on so it's like sometimes i'll move on but still like them or sometimes i'll just move on and like i won't like them anymore so it really just depends on the person but it's definitely a mental thing just if you can't mentally detach it's you really just have to like in your mind understand like hey there's so many other dudes in the world there's so many there's so many fish in the sea like even if you just want that fish like there's so many people out there for you and i promise they're not the only person in the world i promise you they're not life goes on there's a million other boys like move on especially if you're a teenager like if you're a teenager and you cannot move on girl go travel go to to go out of the state go out of the country you're gonna see a million other boys out there and i promise you <laughs> i'm gonna just leave it at that you're gonna see a ton of other boys that's not he's not the only boy in the world that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say another one that was very very like heavily like recommended was healing bro healing it's like a long long process i feel like the most important thing about healing is it's okay to have feelings like it's okay to have feelings like cry express yourself get upset like you know it's okay to feel those emotions like don't don't be afraid to have emotions don't be afraid to cry don't be afraid to talk to people that you're close to like don't be afraid to do any of that stuff because i promise you nine times out of ten people are always going to be on your side people are going to help you people are going to give you advice and even if you don't get that advice there's social media there's youtube like just figure out you like that's the most important thing you cannot heal if you're constantly going on to the next person next person like with your friendships relationships like all your bonds are going to be tarnished by that if that makes sense if you're not a healed individual then you're not going to attract people that are healed if that makes sense you're not going to attract good people if you're not a good person not saying that you have to be healed to be a good person but you guys get the gist like being healed is just you under like you know your worth you have self-love you can you understand that i don't know it's just being healed is just something that you just 
it takes time you have to have the time and the patience but personally for me how i healed i definitely just got into more stuff that i like because i used to be a very big people pleaser and that right there will tear somebody up when i tell you being a people pleaser is not easy it's not fun it's like you're just doing things that you don't want to for people and they're taking advantage of you because they know you're gonna do it like i've dealt with that for so long and i don't know i kind of just had to come to the conclusion like i don't want to do this anymore like i don't want to go through this anymore or like going through toxic relationships or toxic friendships and wondering like why me like why do i always have to deal with this da, da, da. i don't set healthy boundaries set like goals that you want for yourself that you want to reach make a list of things that you like make a list of things that you want to do it doesn't have to be super expensive like it doesn't have to be anything like that just just try and value your life because i feel like having gratitude is the most important thing with healing because when you're not healed it's just like you're a mess you're just you're a mess promise to god you have to live your life and stop worrying about what other people have going on worry about you because at the end of the day Who's going to have your back when nobody else does? You. You are. Nobody is responsible for you. So you have to take the time to actually get to understand yourself, get to know yourself, maybe find your purpose, make this money, live your life, YOLO. Like, I promise you, you only have one life to live. Live it. You got to live it. I'm going to put a book, like, that I recommend for healing. I'm going to put a book, the book that I've been reading, like, to help me with that. Or a couple books, actually. I've been reading, like, these couple books. And they've helped me so much during my healing journey because, girl, I'm a big reader. I love to learn. I love to learn more. I love to be smart. Like, I don't know. I'm very book smart. So, like, I love to read. I love to just fulfill my brain with more knowledge because I feel like there's never too much knowledge that you can have in your brain. And then I'm going to also recommend some podcasts. Maybe down below I'll put this stuff because putting it here, like, my editor is probably going to be like, okay, what books? Da, 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 da. But yeah i'll try and put everything down below so check the description box down below if you guys want to check out the books that i've read the podcasts i listen to and yeah okay another one how to protect your peace boundaries i'm gonna say i'm gonna always say setting boundaries because if you set boundaries especially if they're healthy like your peace is protected at all times like say for instance you're talking to a boy and he does something you don't like just say I don't like that don't do it again and if he does it again he's booted he's out he's cut he's chopped like you can't like you can't give people so many chances also because then that's like people start to take advantage of you and and that starts to just you know mess with you as a person it starts to mess with your worth you have to just if they don't listen to your boundaries the first time you still want them in your life let them know a second time you still want them in your life let them know a third time third time is a charm boo boo and i'm not saying like you have to do it three times you can do it four five six times but you have to stand on business with yourself and you have to stand on business because if you don't people are not going to take you serious i'm gonna just be honest people do not take people serious when they have boundaries that they state but you don't let people know to keep respecting the boundary like they'll respect it one time yes and then if you restate it again because they disrespected it again and you let them slide again they're not going to take it serious and they're going to just keep disrespecting you they're going to keep walking all over you they're going to keep doing the same stuff you have to stand on business like a good example of a boundary is for instance say like the one i gave like about the boy like say a boy does something you don't like or a girl does something you don't like tell her i don't like it don't do it again and if she wants to say oh because usually people are gonna like respond to that and they're gonna be like oh okay or some people might be defensive some people might act away there's always like there's always going to be a way that you can like say it and they're always going to respond with something like either defensive or they're going to understand usually people don't argue back when you when you say the boundary because boundaries are very like what's the word clear and in your face so it's like why would i argue with that that's them if they feel like that was disrespectful or if they don't want me to do it again i won't do it again people are going to respect you when they see that you stand on business about yourself and they see that you don't take crap from people like you're always going to put yourself first and that's not selfish in my opinion again that's stating boundaries so you gotta do what you gotta do to protect your peace and tips on relationships and advice on finding better for yourself okay this is a good one so with relationships i definitely i haven't been in like i don't know i've never been in like a super serious relationship because personally i feel like at my age 
I'm not focused on that. Like, I don't know. Everybody has their own, like, life and everybody has their own goals. And personally, me being in a relationship is not something I'm trying to be in. So, yeah. But on relationships, I definitely feel like you have to have good communication. You have to spend quality time. You just have to respect each other. Yeah, with relationships, I'm not too sure. Because, again, I've never been on, like, I've never been in one. But I definitely know that communication is key. Boundaries is also key. You just have to respect each other. You guys grow with each other. Like, you always want to make sure that you can grow with that person. Because you don't want to just jump into a relationship. And you don't see, like, I feel like me personally if i'm if i date somebody like i'm dating you for the long run like i'm not dating you for short term like i'm dating you for long term the goal is to not break up but it's like if we break up then that's fine life goes on like i said just make sure like y'all like y'all both putting in 100 100 on each end because 50 50 to me is not enough like 100 100 give your give your all and i'll give my all like don't give me half don't give me half stuff don't give me no half ass uh-uh don't do that but yeah, 100 to 100, you, you give me your all, I give you my all. As far as I'm concerned, that's just how it's gonna work. And finding better for yourself. Finding better for yourself is definitely a mindset again. Like you definitely just have to be in the right headspace. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love another person. That's just, that's number one. And it's like, people can say, oh, that's not true, that's not true, it's true. If you don't love yourself, you cannot sit up here and tell somebody, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, because you don't. You can't even love yourself. How can you love a whole nother human being? Like, come on. You got to put yourself first. That's like the main thing. And I definitely feel like finding better for yourself is definitely just taking risk. Like, you have to take that risk. If you want to find better for yourself, you have to go out and get it. Like, you have to go and get it. Stuff is not going to come to you. People, yeah, people will come to you once they see that you're doing good. But in the meantime, you gotta you gotta find it yourself. Like you have to get to it. Like you gotta really chase your dreams. And I feel like people think, oh, I wanna do this, this down the third, but this is da 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 da. There's no excuses. Like there's no excuse. When you're trying to find better for yourself, you gotta do that by any means. And I mean any. Like you gotta do it by any means. People will come. People will come and go as you're on that journey, definitely. But it's like in the meantime, girl keep your head in the game like you gotta you gotta be locked in you gotta really lock in attachments attachment is terrible like i'm just saying like if you're attached to somebody but it's like you cannot get up off them it's terrible and i feel like attachment is not something i've ever struggled with because it's like i can love you and still let you go like i can love you and still let you go i can love you and still love you from a distance like with attachment you just have to know like your place in their life like i feel like definitely it's hard to tell your place in somebody's life but it's definitely something that you have to understand like hey everybody got their own life everybody has stuff going on you just gotta understand like what is why am i attached to this person like why do i like this person so much to where i'm attached to them because i know what attachment feels like it's like you have a like y'all hearts are like tied together and like y'all can't let go like i definitely know what that is but attachment is a dangerous thing attachment will have people doing some crazy stuff curl i've seen it i've seen it but to detach from somebody again a mental thing you have to just mentally detach yourself from them but yeah detachment is just something that you have to mentally do first it's easy to like detach yourself from somebody like just don't hang with them no more don't rock with them no more don't spend no time with them no more but it's all in the mind and i definitely feel like it's harder than it sounds definitely because it's easy to say like hey just attach yourself from this person but it's like you have to understand attachment is because you're either attached to them like mentally physically or something is drawing you to them that's keeping y'all like tight locked in or keeping you locked in at some point in time if it's like doing more bad than good you got to let it go you really got to because it's not hurting nobody but yourself and i definitely feel like you just have to understand like hey this person don't route with me how I route with them. This person is making me feel bad. This person is making me question my self-worth. Da 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 Okay. He get in the boot. They get in the boot. They get in the boot. Like, again, there's so many people in the world. So many more things to experience. So many other people to experience. Like, come on now. Just, there's a huge world out there. The world is humongous. Don't trip off of one person, bruh it's not worth it and the and the attachment is gonna last yeah 
but again that comes with healing yourself like you got to heal yourself first but yeah self-care i definitely feel like self-care is just doing stuff you like to do that doesn't revolve social media if that makes sense like for instance me doing youtube i enjoy doing this but it don't really require too much social media like it's just me recording my life and then editing it and then posting it like you know what i mean like so it's social but yeah i don't want to say actually let me rephrase that just self-care is just doing stuff you like to do if you like to draw if you like to go to the beach go like if you want to do a face mask if you like to hang out with your friends if you like to be at home play video games do it but do it a healthy amount like don't do like don't overdo it don't overdo it but self-care is very important when it comes to like getting to understand yourself and healing and just overall like for yourself it's just really good you can never go wrong with self-care keep yourself clean keep yourself posh keep yourself polished make sure that you smell good make sure that you look good i feel like your appearance is priceless you can never spend too much money on your appearance you can never do too much to your like appearance if you want to get that piercing go get it if you want to get that tattoo go get it like you know what i mean self-care just love yourself whatever you think is gonna make you your most confident self and make you feel the best go do it um how to get over insecurity that's a good one because honestly like everybody has something they're insecure about you can be the most beautiful girl in the world you still have an insecurity and i definitely feel like insecurities for like teenage girls and teenage boys is just like every, like at least at least one person you have at least one insecurity that you don't talk about how to get over it you gotta understand that you're you live this life like you're living inside of your body forever forever like you're gonna die with yourself you're gonna live with yourself for ever until death do your until death do us part like you with yourself for the long haul so you really just got to understand like hey i do look different but that's okay like or i don't like this about myself but that's fine like i don't know it's more so of an acceptance thing like and it's a mind thing because i feel like everybody's insecure about something but half the time people don't even notice it until it's pointed out and usually people point out insecurities People that point out insecurities are lame as hell, actually. Let me just say that. They're lame, and they have no life, and they're insecure in their beliefs. I don't... Personally, me, people always try and, like, humble me, and they always try and, like, point out little stuff, because they're like, oh, she's this, she's that, she's that. Oh, this is that a third. Okay. Like, cool. If that's what you think, that's cool. I personally don't take too much stuff personal. And I just think that comes from middle school, like middle school people always have something to say everybody got roasted and toasted in middle school bruh everybody got something in middle school you could have been the most prettiest girl in the school people were still gonna say something they did not care middle school boys ruthless middle school girl drama terrible like y'all <laughs> y'all y'all know everybody had to go through middle school at some point people just always gonna have something to say regardless and insecurities they're all a mind thing just it's a mind thing and i feel like getting over an insecurity you just have to really be like yeah i am i am that girl i am her like i get called pretty by so so and so and not saying that you even need validation but validation does help like when people do tell you you're pretty or people do tell you you're beautiful a lot because me i get that a lot like people always tell me i'm pretty so it's like for me to even be insecure and i get like thousands of likes on tiktok and stuff like that it's just crazy i'm just like why am i insecure again like people would kill to look like me just think like that people would kill to look like you walk with your head held high even if your head is low like even if you feeling down because you feel like you don't look good nobody can tell fake it till you make it that's confidence right there fake it till you make it like you can feel like the ugliest person in the world but if you have confidence i promise you nobody nobody gonna care they're gonna be like dang she's just so confident like i love that like i love how confident she is da -da -da. like you'll see people who you may not think are attractive but everybody's attracted to somebody everybody's attracted to somebody and again just fake it till you make it stand with your head held high at all times no matter what it could be your lowest you could be at your lowest point pick yourself up take it to the chin just keep going it's gonna be okay and i promise you like insecurities again they're just all on my thing <laughs> someone wanted to know how to stand these bum ass men babe i don't stand them babe i be sitting down like i just be like mm, yeah bye like i'm sorry i don't deal with dudes and everybody can tell you that like 
it's very rare that y'all see me dealing with somebody very rare and if i do deal with you i like you a lot i do because i'm not a very like i'm not into dudes like i'm not i'm not really into it because i i feel like they all into the same stuff like wasting time like I don't know i'm just not the girl to wait like that's here for wasting time like i'm not here for a good time babe i'm not here for no good time if i'm dealing with you i like you i do and i just feel like if you don't want to like deal with them don't like it's it's that easy like that's one thing i realized if i don't want to deal with somebody i do not have to if i don't want to talk to them i do not have to hit that block button mute their messages unfollow them history you don't gotta delete nothing. Like, you don't gotta delete messages and stuff, but if you don't wanna deal with somebody, just don't deal with them. Like, if you don't wanna stand them, don't stand them. Sit your ass down. You don't have to be dealing with a dude every, every day. Like, you don't. Like, <laughs> I personally don't have the time. Like, I wish I did, but I don't even wish I did, because I just don't have the time. And I feel like a lot of people respect me for that, because I'm not into wasting time. It's even hard for me to respond to a text message, babe. Like, I be busy. I be having a lot of stuff going on. And nothing negative be going on in my life. Like, I just be busy. Like, I be on a go, go, go all the time. Like, I'm always doing something productive. And I feel like people fail to realize that when you're on a mission, you don't have time to waste. Like, you don't have time to waste. If I was into wasting time, like, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. Like, you know what I mean? Mmm staying motivated you just gotta make sure you're on your you're on your shit like keep up with it keep up on like keep your shit up don't give up don't give up just stay disciplined like i was just watching tiktok just now and they said the one two three method and i never realized that i did that method but it's like you count to three and then you just go get up and do it like you just go do it like if I'm on my phone and I'm like, I really don't need to be on my phone right now. I'll count to three. One, two, three. Put my phone down and I'll go do something else. Like, something productive that's not my phone. Like, you know what I mean? Or even just setting a timer for how long you need to be doing certain stuff. Like, if you don't want to be on your phone for too long, set a 10-minute timer. And then after 10 minutes, get off. Or little stuff like that. It's just discipline. And it helps you stay motivated because now you're committing to your promises. Like, hey, I said I was going to get off my phone and I did. da 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 da, -da. And yeah, and again, showing gratitude, like, being grateful for, like, the present. Being grateful for, like, living in the present. Being grateful for everything that you have. Being grateful for living. Being grateful for your bed. Being grateful for food. Like, little things like that help you stay motivated and help you, like, want to do better and, like, help you look forward to having more stuff and to getting to where you want to be. Yeah, I don't even know. Hair maintenance, yeah. I use Miel leave-in conditioner. I use their um, rosemary um, hair drops, like for hair growth. I use hair grease sometimes. I use extreme gel and gummy gel. And I use got to be on my edges. And that's pretty much it. I sometimes like I'll get hair perfume. It really depends. Cause sometimes like the hair perfume that I use don't be like, it don't be in stock. It's like this vanilla like um spray and it makes your hair smell like vanilla oh cocoa cream by um carol's daughter that junk right there if you have thick hair and you have curly hair like this like like this wig is kind of like an example but i use mousse on this hair because i'm not going to be using my real products on this hair come on now but for your real hair if you have like texture hair and you want your curls to pop cocoa cream is going to be your best friend do that with some leave-in conditioner and run it through there drench it in water if you have to like also i feel like one thing that should be more accepted in the natural hair community is washing your hair like don't listen to certain people that be like oh i don't wash my hair after four weeks baby that's that's not good like <laughs> after a week you should be washing your hair or after a couple days if you feel like your hair is dirty wash it bro I'm not saying go and wash your hair every day, but if you feel like your hair is dirty and you need to wash it again in order for it to get back to its natural, like, in order for you to be able to manage it, wash it. Don't be scared to wash your hair. Don't. And I do recommend, like, doing hair masks, hair treatments, hot oil treatments if your hair is damaged or if you just want to bring life to your hair because a lot of times people don't know that's the code to getting your texture back, like, or to getting your hair back to how it used to be. 
put oil like put olive oil in your hair avocado oil like oil that you would see in the cooking section at walmart or publix or kroger wherever you're at when dixie like buy up a whole bunch of oils and just use it for your hair do that like i've seen people do mayo mask mayo egg mask mayo oil like all that stuff but i really just recommend oil mask and you can like put the um they at the beauty supply store they'll sometimes have like the oil in a little container you can heat it up in like the um on your stove with some boiling water put it in there let it sit for a couple minutes put it in your hair baby perfect for damage and yeah i feel like oil is just the key to having your hair grow and let it be healthy even if you have your hair in a slick back put oil on top to make it shine and to make sure that your hair is not breaking off because regardless if you put your hair in any type of slick back style your hair is breaking off but the least you could do is put oil throughout your hair i think i think that's it for this video like i think i'm done i'm gonna have to cut so much stuff out like my editor is gonna have a field day cutting stuff out because i'm gonna tell her to cut stuff out because i don't want this video to be too long i want it to be like 30 minutes max like i don't want this to be 40 minutes 50 minutes no 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 because nobody's gonna watch it but I'll see you guys next time. My camera's dying again. So I'll see you guys next time. Recommend some video ideas that you guys want to see. And yeah, peace.